everybody. Oh my word, it's been forever. Honestly, with my last few videos being from Michigan, I don't remember much of what all I told you, what all I didn't since so much happened. It is now 2023. It is January 1st. It's insane how time flies, but it feels good to be back in the groove of things. I just really miss the schedule of it all. I, I rather have it organized and know what my week is going to look like, what to expect. It's just my preference. I may not be the most organized person, but I try my best. But hey, it's 2023 and I feel like that calls for a clean slate. All I know is I'm hype and I'm ready for 2023. If you're new here, I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. My name is Liz Nier and I am on a weight loss journey to lose 130 pounds. From August to December of 2022, I lost a total of 80 pounds. And I'm so proud of myself. I truly never thought I'd get that far. And it feels amazing to know that I set out to accomplish something and I did. So now to finish off the rest of my goal, I have about 50 more pounds to lose. I've gathered my clan of people and I'm still wanting to bring more people along this journey with me because I too want to help you reach your goals as well. I want to help you whatever it is you want to lose, whatever it is you want to gain, whatever health goals you have for this year, I want to be a part of your journey. If you're not familiar with the health plan that I'm currently rocking, it is Optavia's 5-in-1 nutrition plan. So what that looks like is you're having 5 fuelings and 1 lean and green every single day. Your lean and green is basically going to look like five to seven ounces of protein with three non-starchy vegetable servings. And then your healthy fats all depend on what protein you choose. Also, I eat six times a day, sometimes seven, all depends on what time I go to sleep, what time I wake up, and I eat in two and a half to three hour increments. So I don't have to worry about not having energy because I have loads of it. <laughs> so it's a really simple, literally goof proof plan. Like, there's no other way to explain it, but it's really simple. If you're looking for something super convenient, this is the way to go. Something that's going to fill you up and give you the energy that you need for the day. This is the one. Also, we have a really great community behind us and it just, they're really passionate about what they do. I appreciate them so much because they just empower me every single day to do what I always feel like I cannot do. So if you need people that are going to encourage you and motivate you, um, we need to talk. We also have a really good deal going on right now, like super generous deal. So basically for your first box, you will get an entire month's worth of food for your month, um, excluding your protein and your veggies, that's on you. But you would get $75 off of your first box. And then for your second month, when you order your second box, you would get 30% off. Did you hear what I said? That's a lot of money. 30% off is about $120 off for your second box. It's a blessing and the fact that this company is willing to like, they just know, we know what this product stands for. It's not, we are not trying to sell you anything. Honestly, like I just wanna share my journey with you guys. I want you guys to join me on this journey because I feel amazing. And I too want you guys to feel amazing. This is something that I, you know, I became a coach and it's something that I became passionate about with time. And, you know, people that have felt like I did when I started my health journey, it's just insane. And it makes me sad that I let myself reach 283 pounds before I was like, all right, I need to do something about my health. So this was something that I was very fortunate to find. And I am just trying to spread the awareness of it because, again, it has blessed my life and I know that it would be a blessing in your life. If you're wanting more information on the plan that I'm on, I will leave a link below for one of my videos that I do talk more in depth about it, as well as my Instagram. All of that contact info is going to be down below so you can check it out so you can reach out to me. I'd love to connect. So let's get into this video.
super pumped to film this video simply because it was something that I had to be intentional to process and to really figure out, okay, it's 2023. What do I want? What do I want for my personal life? What do I want for my weight loss journey and my health as a whole? So let's talk about it. I got my handy dandy, my goals book, and it's personal, but I wanted to just read them with you guys and tell you a little bit about what I expect of myself um, in 2023. And this is more like stepping it up for 2023 rather, because I would say that when I first started my journey in August, that was when I was like, okay, I'm going to be intentional, you know, little by little, but it's something that I want to push myself. So how I want to share with you guys is more the perspective of, I want to expect more out of myself, but not expect perfection. I want to give my all, but then it's like, if I'm not giving my all, I get so discouraged and I'm like, oh my God, I'm such a failure. And then I don't give anything at all. So it's like a really bad extreme. So I'm hoping that I could find a happy medium this 2023. We'll see. Obviously, I'm still the same person as I was leaving 2022 because again, it's just another day, right? But it's another day that we've been blessed. It's another day that our beautiful Heavenly Father has given us and we want to make the most of it. We want to make the most to spread love and awareness and we want to be a light to those around us. And that is the goal for 2023. On the first page here, I have New Year resolutions, personal health. I have two main goals. Number one, be intentional with my time. I'm very impacted by what I do. If I'm not doing things that matter with my full effort, I get so discouraged and whatever. So being aware of my time and being intentional with where I'm spending it and how I'm spending it, I want to do that. So just to give you some ideas. So when it comes to my work, my social media work, my health coaching, it doesn't really feel like work because I love what I do. And my home upkeep. I feel like I want those things to surround my children. That's what I love about what I do is the fact that I, I'm a stay at home mom and I can do what I need to do, but I can also put it on pause and I can make my days look however I want them to look. Another thing is I want to be able to spend five to 10 minutes in prayer every day. It would just be something I'd like to grow in this year. I also want to journal first thing in the morning to help center myself for the day just to get my thoughts aligned, just to get how I'm feeling out there. I used to journal all the time. I have this huge box full of old journals that I just over the years collected because I'm a person who likes to talk. I'm a person who loves heart to heart connection. And sometimes you don't have somebody to talk with. So you just grab a pen and paper and you write it out. And yeah, I just, I need that in my life every day. I want to at least do two things on my to-do list that are most important to me as far as upkeep just so that I don't feel overwhelmed with a lot to do, but just tackle one thing at a time. I also want to read again for 10 minutes every day. I've been slacking on that one, not gonna lie. Between Christmas and New Year's, life has been so chaotic. So it's, it's, it's gonna be nice to just go back to the slow pace and take every day as it comes. Let's just focus on today and move forward. So just to recap, those are ways of how I wanna be intentional with my time. So my second goal in my personal health new year resolutions list is be intentional with my friendships and relationships. So for example, like I want to be present and I want to show up. There's so many distractions in the world. So I guess ultimately I just want to slow down. And with my friendships and relationships, that's one of the ways, one of the areas I want to slow down in. My second one is I want to listen and I want to think before I speak. I am a person who is just so like, whoop, I just throw everything out there. Sometimes it's rude. I need to just think about what I'm gonna say before I say it. Ultimately, that's the issue. I don't think before I speak. And my third one is I wanna ultimately lead with love. I want that to be the front of my mind. Like I just, I want you guys to feel love through watching this video. And just whenever I encounter people, I want them to feel love just flowing out of me like and it doesn't come from me it comes from the father and like through connecting with him every single day he gives me exactly what I need to fill my cup so that I can fill your cup you know what I'm saying I know this sounds like a lot ultimately I just want to be consistent these are all things that I want to be mindful of this year on the back of this paper I have things I will do to make sure these goals are implemented yeah I'm prepared 
first of all, I want to write a schedule to add time frames. And here is my list. But I have like a morning, early afternoon, early evening, an evening, and a bedtime schedule all for from like 6 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. That would really help me be intentional with what my days are going to look like. And again, I did write some notes in here for myself just to make sure that I'm not going to be discouraged. And just as I go throughout the year, I can look back. It says, every day will not be perfect. Extend grace to yourself. If you don't follow through, you are not a failure. The bottom line is consistency in what makes you feel good, what makes you happy and fulfilled. And all those things are spending time with my family, spending time with Jesus and taking care of my personal health. That's what all the goals surround. So do whatever is going to make you the better version of you. My second list, New Year resolutions, dreaming big. This is probably my favorite list. And maybe they're a little unrealistic. I don't know. The goal is have something to go after. This is what this page is about. I want to make an entire second income from home. But the bigger goal is I want to bring my husband home so that we both can work from home because it would just be a blessing to our family. And we would just, I feel like we'd be such a blessing to other people if we just had each other. For now, this year, I want to at least try and accomplish bringing a second income from home. That would take a lot of stress off of my husband and for me, honestly, because I love being able to contribute to my family. And again, Optavia has provided me with that beautiful opportunity to bring money home, but also doing something fulfilling that's going to be helping other people. And that is what I'm passionate about. The second one is I want to own a home with a backyard and a garage for my husband. That is the goal for the next like one to two years, you know, from this year to 2024, because I'm ready to get out of this house. I'm ready to move on. I don't have a backyard. My children would just thrive being able to go outside. Point is, I'm lazy. And if I had a backyard, I could just open the door and be like, run free, y'all. Go play, go pull some grass, go eat some dirt, have fun, live your best life. And I could watch you from the kitchen window while I'm getting stuff done. Yeah, make sense? And of course, my husband would love his own space. Number three, I want to have a housekeeper weekly. I know that it would be a lot of money. And I'm not saying that I will, you know, follow through with this. And maybe at some point I will. Maybe I won't. I don't know. But it would be nice. Then I don't feel like I have to focus so much on like, you know, the cleaning of my house part. And I can just focus on other things that are important to me. I know. I know. It's just a preference. Like, but again, this is just, you know, I'm dreaming big here. It would be nice. You know that you would love somebody to come to clean your house too every single day if you had the chance. Don't lie. But right now I'm too broke for that. So right now I am the maid. Number four, we want to be able to afford traveling. And it would be nice to be able to say, let's buy a ticket to Mexico. I don't have family there, but I, we love Mexico. Like our heart is just... We left a piece of our heart in Mexico back in like 2018. So we would love to take our family there as well so that they too can experience it. It is about financial stability and doing whatever we got to do. Number five, buy another vehicle. My husband isn't a big fan of buying like car dealership cars or anything like that. But he's a big fan of like buying cars that he needs to fix or need a couple hundred dollars or something. But it would be nice to have money for him to be able to invest in his hobbies. Like I would love that. And him owning a car would be a part of that. But anyways, these are all goals that I have. I will share with you guys when these things come true. And it's going to be awesome because I'm documenting it right now in this video. And so to be able to look back a few years later and be like, wow, I came a long way. My family has come a long way. Just I owe it all to Jesus. Um, he has brought some good people into my life towards the end of 2022. And just thank you so much for being an encouragement to me. And even just you watching. I just appreciate you because without your support and watching my video or liking my video or commenting or subscribing, you know, I couldn't do this. I mean, I could, but it would be kind of hard and it'd be a little discouraging to not have many views at all. And again, it's not about having the views and the likes and comments and stuff, but it's about making an impact. And it's like, I want to reach as many people as possible because I want to share, I want to shine my light and share my truth with you. So let me back up a little bit. How am I going to make those things happen? How am I going to be intentional to move forward and make these things come true? I'm going to be accountable to a financial friend of ours. It's going to be a great year because we're trying to be intentional about what we're spending our money on. And, you know, again, we're not trying to be rich, 
but it would be awesome to be able to walk to a store and be like, oh yeah, let's buy this and not have to worry about whether we have enough money or to be able to give without being like, oh wait, but this is gonna have to come out of this. For me, I wanna be secure and know that I'm gonna be fine and that my family is gonna be fine as well before I can fully help you. Does that make sense? I don't know. Number two, I wanna to continue to pour my heart into Optavia coaching. I love what I do. I told you guys already in this video that this is not a job to me. It does not feel that way because I love it. I love helping all of my clients reach their goals. The fact that y'all are giving me the opportunity to help you um, and walk with you and journey with you through the hard, through the victories. Like I want to celebrate and be your cheerleader. And that's what I'm excited for. That's why I love what I do because I'm happy. I feel confident in who I am. Obviously, it's a struggle some days, but I'd love to see you at your absolute best your absolute healthiest i want to see you with your spirit lifted you're probably walking around with your head down and you don't even realize it a lot of that has to do with how we spend our time what does our health look like what are we eating how much water are we drinking let's create healthy habits this year and really be consistent in doing those things and you will see a huge difference also, I just realized that I didn't even share with you guys any of my weight loss goals. The crazy thing about that is the fact that I feel like that means that I'm just happy with where I'm at and I'm loving the journey. And of course, my weight loss goal is to lose another 50 pounds. I currently weigh about 202 pounds, but my goal is somewhere around 150, 140, something like that maybe. All I know is I need accountability. I need people to join me on this journey so that we can reach these goals together. Um, I am not perfect, so that is why I need accountability because I want to stay consistent and knowing that I have people looking up to me, wondering where I'm at in my journey and people that are going to want to know my way in and all this stuff, like it makes me stay on plan. It makes me say, you know what, put the fork down, Liz, this isn't on plan. So thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate every single one of you. Seriously, like I don't think you realize um, the blessing you guys have been to me and the fact that you're starting to interact. I really, I love that. Let's continue to interact. Definitely head over to my Instagram. All of that info is going to be down in the description below. So feel free to go check out my socials and reach out to me and let's connect. I hope you guys were all encouraged from watching this video. I wish you the very best and that you get out of it what you want, that you get out of life exactly what you want and that you would just have the energy to put your whole self into being who you are today focus on today don't focus on tomorrow don't focus on next week focus on what you can do now to be who you want to be tomorrow don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell again i remind you i will be here on wednesday and i will be here on sunday 8 p.m eastern don't miss it